And three, two, one, now. Hi, I'm Lewis Lightning. Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. I'm here in Orzammar, and we've just finished searching the place entirely. We were just doing some quests, but we saw some guys pushing an merchant into his shop. Figures, imports, look like thuds. So we're going to go in and try and help him. Rogar. This is all I have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours? You get, get out of here. What a deep voice. This is private business. Is this man threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carta's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. I'll try and intimidate him. Take a good look. Do you really want to start this? Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. Hey, you guys better run. Get out of here, you little midgets. Figor. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Well, what do you know about this Jarvia? I've, I've never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. It's another reason That's for me to go there. That's the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since good King Endrin died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons, shaking honest men down for coin. Uh, what do you know about her, Carter? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. Their children as well? You go that far? Their births are abominations. They were born from no Kalna, with no acknowledgement by the Shapers. They are destined to be criminals. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Well, I want to buy some stuff from you. Did you have something more pleasant you wish to discuss? Yeah, so we have for sale. I'm showing you the lowest prices I can afford, I assure you. Okay, I didn't accuse you of not. So nothing for us to sell. Nothing for us to sell. Where? What do you have? Ah, this is what I need. Some health poultices. Lesser health poultices. Lyrium potions, sure. Lesser injury kits. Regular injury kits, sure, why not? Uh, Mage Bane, do I have any of that? I don't think so. It just, it just sounds cool. Uh, moderate poison drains targets of their mana. But it only works against spellcasters. Uh, nothing else, really? Distillation agents, let's get some of these. Let's see if we can make something. He's got flasks. We get three flasks. I know I have a lot of elf fruit. You know what? I'll buy this stuff too. And we'll get an remarkable emerald. Sure, we'll fill up right there. Now let's make some make some potions here. Some more health poultices. This is good. We should have freed up a spot in our inventory at least. 102 of 110. Look at that. Look how that changed. Okay. So we'll exit out of here. We've got room for eight more things. Uh, let's go see Brother Burkle. That'd be a good idea. And then we'll head to Dust Town. See if we can't uh, find that guy that stole that book from the Shaper. Oh, this Nug. I forgot about you. Come here. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. Twelve more silver. You can always find the nugs based on their squealing. If you hear it, then you know you're near a nug. Um, 
But an interesting thing about the Nugs, I think there's supposed to be like 10 or 12 in total to find. But you'll only ever find, I think, 5 in Orzammar. Because of... Uh, this guy was here? Was he here before? Yeah. I'm going to see if he's got any health pulses in here. But yeah, you only ever find 5. But I guess you're supposed to find... Ooh, he's got a quest. You're supposed to find, uh, like I said, 10 or 12. Fala, stranger. Here for armor or conversation. He's asking about his daughter. Do you have a daughter named Dagna? I... Has she been bothering you? It's a whiff of surface thing, and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. She wants to become a mage. I'd like to help her study with the mages, because that's true. She doesn't want to become a mage. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her caste. She'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just the childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, if you see her, send her back and let me talk some sense into her. Okay. I'm going to talk to Jane R and just do some business Please this time. don't encourage Dagna further. Tell her you were wrong and that her place is with her family. Let's see what you've got. Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Uh, nothing there. We were looking just for, uh, poultices. Which he doesn't have. Alright, let's get out of here. Back to the commons. I'm gonna stop at the tavern as well. After I talk to, like, Burkle, I guess. But just to see, I'm not sure there's anything in there that I have to worry about. Ah, uh, you know what, we'll go talk to Burkle and head to Dust Town. Oh, another nug. Let's take this back to Boromir, or whatever his name was. Dagnus has a quest, but uh, we know we, we haven't talked to the people at the circle yet, so there's no point. And I believe this gives us not, not just cash, but experience. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. Oh, I don't know. So that's three nugs, and I said there should be four. So, or five. I think five. So we got two more. Legnar, do you have anything? Oop, Legnar. This is the guy, other trader that I don't really like. Something, I hope. I want that surface wealth coming back to us, Balin's ascension willing. Let's see what you have in store. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. I'm not good for anything else, though. Apparently. Uh, they seem to only have like. Uh, like armors and swords and stuff. Brother Burkle. Andraste teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the shape. Can hear a nug. He agreed to let you hold prayer meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found a convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please come to our first service. There's a nug. Gotcha. Hmm. Where's this guy by tapsters? I'd like to see that. Maybe it'll load back in next time I exit and come back. Let's drop off this nug. I'm going to head over to uh, tapsters. But there's actually an arrow. If you look on my radar, there's an arrow. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. Almost, oh, this is for Dagna. That's what it was for. All right. So we'll head to Dust Town, like I said, and we'll try find that guy who stole the book for the shape rip. And then you know what? Once, once I fill up my inventory, I'm probably going to go back and uh, head to the camp just to talk to the other people there. Because I mean, we haven't gotten Sten to say anything in the longest time. I'd like to learn more about him. Rogek. Beggar. Almar's imports. Shady Corbett. What do you want, Warden? You're out of your element down here. And he's got a brand across his face, that's alright. Looking for a thief who dared steal from the Shaper. What makes you think I'm looking for anything? <laughs> I'm no fool. Nobody just wanders around in Dust Town. 
You're here looking for me, and I don't like it. You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. We should do something. Wow, well, I'm not afraid of you. Ass, we'll cripple him. Now let's hit him with Punisher. Oh yeah, I killed him with Punisher. Did two normal hits and that third one is what killed him. Go on. You must have. Yeah, there we go. Proving receipt. Quest update. Let's see what it says. Uh, keep looking for the thief. The thief didn't have your stolen tome. The receipt in his body suggests that he may have passed it to someone in the proving grounds. All right, so let's head to the proving grounds. Or I'm gonna stop at Tapsters on the way, but then we'll head to the proving grounds. We found the thief, and we killed him because he attacked us. Whoa. So yeah, we're actually getting to do some combat now. There's actually a lot to do in Orzammar. I don't know, I'm not saying that this is a fact, but it seems like there's more to do in Orzammar than any of the other places, like the, what you did in Red Cliff, than what you did in uh, the Circle Tower, than what you did for the Dalish. Like, there seems to be so much more to do in Orzammar. And I don't know, maybe it's just me. Uh, I was hoping that maybe that guy, that brother Burkle set up his chantry, but I don't see anything anywhere. I'll take a, a closer look now that I'm in Tapsters. But I don't see anything in here really worthwhile. Doolin's here. Back so soon? The proving is not finished. What happened? Vartag wants me to show the people that Haramon is a cheat. That you spoke to him even after our discussion is not reassuring. I assume you still intend to fight in the Proving. Yeah, I'll head there right now. May the ancestors guide your arm. Okay. Nothing really interesting. Ogren! What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden. Coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Shine, uh, all the rest of whom? My only concern is raising allies against the Blight. You don't need a king to face a Blight. You need a paragon. The Assembly elects them. But they're higher than the Assembly. They become nobles, but they're more than anyone born to a house. They're what every dwarf with a spine not made of soap dreams of being. Including you? Aye, of course. Being a paragon would be a dusted sight better than this. Why do you care what I want? Nobody cares about what I want. Your boss trying to butter me up or what? If you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. Is this... is that who Bronca is? She's the paragon? City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. What's it matter to you, huh? Huh. <laughs> you trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He looking to take it for himself. A little lost technology of the ancients to throw Balin right out of the picture? What are you talking about? What technology? You are looking for it. Of course, that's all anyone cares about. Well... Sawed off and sawed your mother, too. I need a bleeding drink. You keep on your errands. Until your boss really commits to looking, you're getting nothing but smoke out of old Ogren. Okay, whatever. Looks like that's, let's talk to this guy again, Lord Helmy. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? Do you know anything about this Carta? The assembly, 
passed laws prohibiting the castless from holding any job a legitimate citizen can do. Of course, they turn to crime. What else can they do? As you wish. I want to ask him the other question. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar. What about the candidates for king? What do you think of them? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems I think I've seen a bit this more before. forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Oh, I should get going. As you wish. All right. Well, we don't have much time. I'm going to try to get over to the proving real quick. Did I get another nug? I can't remember. I'm going to try and drop off a nug for Boromir real quick. I don't know if I have it or not. <laughs> I don't think so. But nothing can happen if I don't. And then we'll head to the proving either way. Trust Vala. All right, now we go to the proving here. The elder mage watches me. I am reminded of a certain former master whose head I crushed, or so I'm told. Oh, I'm sorry, Shane. I am simply curious about you. That's all. As my former master would say during his experiments. Oh, I would do no such thing. I just find the idea of you so fascinating. On the one hand, it seems it would be so sad and so lonely in existence. And on the other, you are so very powerful. No golem I know of has ever had free will as you do. May I ask what you intend to do with it? Other than exterminating the vermin of the sky? Uh, yes, other than that. I do not know. Crushing heads is fun, for now. Well, that's something. There's another nug here. And this is the last one I think we can find. But, just so you guys know, you don't want to get rid of this one. Keep this one for yourself. For a while. And we'll head to the provings, but that's where we're going to end it. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're just going to get in here. And there's some searching to do in here too. Then we're gonna actually get into some more battles. So we should get some fighting in for the next part. So yes, I'm excited for that. Uh, I like doing more battles. Although searching is always fun. But yeah, this is where we're gonna end it. So if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, like I already like I've already said. And I'll see you in the next part. Thanks. Bye.